Matt Keys, first grade class. Today is your final day to work on your paper bag puppets. So I hope you're ready to get started as soon as I'm done with my video. Now, when we're making our puppets, and here's a quick reminder. Number one, we were supposed to start by covering the face, body, mouth, and backside with paper that matches the color of your animal and or what job it has. So since my snake was a snake, I made him brown. And I covered his face and body with brown paper, but I put a pink in his mouth to show that it's his mouth. I also put brown on the backside. If your animal was a frog, you might cover it with green, for example. So we first covered our bag with one base color, like brown or green or whatever color your animal is. Then we were ready to start adding our details. The details are those little parts you're going to cut out of paper and glue down to show what animal you have and what job it does. Please make sure your details are showing what animal you have and what job it does before you call it done. And make sure you've added as many details as you can because you are probably not going to be totally done before the end of class today. There's always more to add. There are some details I added to show my snake is a snake, like my long pointy teeth, my forked tongue, my tall slitted eyes, but I also can tell that my snake is an Old West Sheriff because I added a cut out and glued down uh, sheriff badge, a belt with a star on it, and a big giant 10 gallon hat. Be sure that you don't just forget about the backside. Like I added the backside of the belt and the belt around the hat on the backside here. But those are all made out of paper that is cut out and glued down. That is what you should do first before you say that you're ready to move on to anything else. You cut out paper and glue it down to make as many details on your paper bag puppet as you possibly can. But if you think you're totally done cutting out and gluing down your details, here are the two more things you could do. You'll notice I have some smaller lines on my paper bag puppet. That is because I'm also going to have some markers passed out to you. You should not use these until you're done cutting out and gluing down paper details. The markers should only be used for tiny little things that are hard to add with paper. For example, the textures above my snake's lips are bumpy because my snake is scaly. So I added these bumpy lines above the lips. I also made the nostrils really dark. I also added some dots for the texture or the feeling of the tongue. I added some more teeth in here a little more quickly, and I outlined my stars. These are all some lines that I could add using my markers because they're kind of hard to add with just cut out and glued down paper. So think about what texture your animal is. My snake has scales all over him, so I added short little curved or U shapes and C shapes to show the scales on the back sides of my snake. If you had an animal that was a little more hairy, then you might add a bunch of straight lines that crisscross each other to fill in that space, or that go one direction, sorry. Those lines should go one direction to fill in that space and show the hairy texture of your animal. But there are lots of different ways to show the texture of your animal using these markers. So please do that before you call it all done. However, if you really think you're done with your puppet, here's the very final thing you could do. The very final thing is you can add a prop or an accessory for your puppet. And a prop or an accessory is a little piece that's not attached or glued to your puppet, but it tells us a little more about your puppet. This accessory right here is a horse head on a stick because my puppet is not a real sheriff. He doesn't ride a real horse. He's an imaginary sheriff, actually. That's his little secret. And he doesn't ride a real horse. He doesn't take care of a real horse. He's got one of those horse heads on a stick that you used to ride around when you were a little kid. So I made his accessory, which was a horse head cut out and glued onto a piece of gray paper to be his horse on a stick. This is his accessory. Anything that your animal might use for its job, you could make out of paper that you cut out and glue together. I cut a brown paper for the horse's head and glued it to a strip of gray paper for the horse's stick that you hold it by. There's lots of different things you could add for your accessories for your animals and their jobs. If your animal's a chef, maybe you make your chef have a spoon or a spatula, or you make more than one different accessory. That's what you'll do with the rest of class. If you think you finish your puppet and its textures with the markers, you will start making accessories by cutting paper out and gluing it together to make little other things that we can imagine your puppet's holding. You do not need to glue these to your puppet, my friends. 
um, you can leave them separate. And when you're using your puppet, you can just imagine that your puppet's riding a horse or using the spatula. But that means we're going to have to put them inside of the paper bag at the end of class, because that's what your paper bag's for. That's how we will keep our paper bag puppets and store them. So that is what we're doing with the rest of class. We are finishing our paper bag puppets. You can add textures with markers when you're done with your paper parts. And uh, if you really finish, you can start making accessories out of paper. At the end of class today, you're going to be asked to write your name and class code at the bottom of your puppet before you turn your puppet in at the drying rack with your accessories inside if you made them. Your sketch papers will be yours to take with you today. I think you guys are ready to get started. So I hope you're ready, and I hope you get finished today. We will take a look at these once I get back, and you have the rest of class to work.